be sharing with you a simple soup recipe perfect for school dinners all right today i will also share with you how to make a bread roll with just two ingredients with safe raisin flour and yeast just these two ingredients so if this is your first time here don't forget to like subscribe and share this video just in case if someone out there is struggling to make a soup and I've also got so many people asking me how do you make soup with butternut squash so today you will have this recipe so let me introduce this the ingredients I'm using so what I'm using today I have parsley here and I have rosemary here I have lentils I'm using the red one and this is my sweet potato when I buy a lot I cut them wash them peel them off and put them in the freezer so just because I'm making a little bit soup today so this is what I'm going to use and you have garlic here and then you have the almighty butternut squash here you have onions veggie stock here and then I have this pepper here green one over here I have my turmeric powder and then I have my ginger powder for the bread I have self raising flour and then I have my yeast first of all I'm going to get this into the oven before I mix the, the flour so the pan is ready what you need to do with this you just place it here so this is going to be in the oven I'm going to bake it for like 20 minutes before I bring it out okay and then I will show you I'm going to do it to start mixing this is safe raising flour it is so I'm going to use probably half of this which is 500 grams so because I'm using 500 grams this yeast can make up to 14 loaves of bread so and because this flour is self raising I'm going to use five spoon this is like teaspoon I'm going to use five teaspoons of this now there's something I want to explain to you because I see that sometimes we don't get it right no one is perfect when it comes to making bread different method might work for you but if you are a beginner what you need to do is to make sure you leave you read the instruction of the on the yeast properly and i think the dry yeast will be better for you because you mix it in the flour first combine it before adding anything that helps it to work properly and secondly make sure you use lukewarm water which is very good it will help the yeast to work properly to activate it properly and as well when you finish mixing make sure you leave it on a warm surface which will help it to just raise up straight away all right so yeast is here after combining this properly I have my already lukewarm water here I boiled it don't take it from the top boil it and then you mix it lukewarm so going to be kneading this bread at all I'm just going to mix it this way and I'm done mixing it I'm not kneading it so so while we are waiting for the flour to raise up and for the butternut squash to 
um, cook in the oven we are going to start the soup so I'm making just a little soup pan is set it's ready this is going to be a low heat cooking and I will be cooking with butter I use dairy free butter always for everything so this is how much butter I've added because I'm just making small soup now the butter has melted I'm going to add my onions as you can see it's very chunky you can use oil if you want to add in my onions and my pepper and I'm adding my rosemary remember this is a very low cook you have to cook it very slow to get all the ingredients out everything is coming out. So now I'm going to add turmeric. You add spices according to how much soup you are making. And ginger. Ginger is everything every soup and stick gradually and now you know what this is lentils after three minutes the color is changing already you can see how beautiful this look I'm going to add my veggie stuff it's going to go in that way to dissolve or not it's just going to dissolve itself and leave it there and put a lid on it and leave it there to cook make it to your own taste but i'm just giving you a tip an idea the main recipes that will bring out your lentils sweet potato and butternut squash soup so if you look inside here you see how beautiful this is looking already so now it is time to cook it I'm just going to add ready boiled water and leave this gorgeous ingredients there to just be cooking while we wait for the butternut squash and the sweet potato to come out of the oven if you look over here, you see the flower has risen. Once I touched it, it went down. You see, it has risen. So it's time for us to start making our rolls. This flower here, this is clean. I'm going to put everything on here. If you look under it, you see the sign that shows you that it is ready. What you would like to add here is oil. So touch the oil and put your hand the flour. I'm kneading it, so I'm leaving a little bit aside. How do you roll? So open it and put it backwards again you see and if it's sticking your hand you see just small small Mm. Me, me. Dogs, 
the best thing you will do for this bread is to brush it on here you cover it and leave it to prove here it's going to uh, raise up again and then before we put it in the oven So our butternut squash is out, see this, and the sweet potato cooks with the garlic is out. So now I'm going to transfer everything into the pot. Let's see what is happening in here. It's, it's shimmer already, look at it. So everything is just going to go in there. Don't try this at home if you can't handle anything hot. So I have to scoop the bottom of squash into the pot. Look at how beautiful this butternut looks. It's already properly roasted. So now I'm just going to cook it here for two minutes. And then I'm going to use my hand mixer to mix everything smooth. So make sure you stir properly. And now we are going to add a little bit of hot water from the kettle just to let it um, cook up together with the ingredients we have here already. I'm going to leave it for two minutes and then we get it blended so the bread is you can see it has um, raising up again so it's going into the oven just for 10 to 15 minutes 15 minutes is too much I think 10 minutes should be okay all right so I'm going to turn the oven down to 180 I don't want it to cook too quick so I'm just going to use my hand blender to blend this soup smooth so i'm going to do this off camera because of noise this soup is perfectly ready so i'm just going to turn the cooker off while we wait for the rolls to come out all right guys rolls are out from the oven i'm just giving it a little brush of oil I am going to transfer this to the one that has the hanger so that it can cool down properly there. Right. Look at how soft this rose looks. So I'm going to gently transfer it there. 